So my new favorite toy for scrapbooking and card making are chalks. And I've already done a video on dry chalking and what you can do with that. But now we're going to talk a little bit about wet chalking. And wet chalking, what it does is it kind of gives you a little bit of a... <clears throat> it's like a watercolor look to your stamped images. Or even just painted images if you're really good freehand, which I'm not. So what we're going to do first is I am going to move the video camera so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay. And the first thing we're going to do is select the chalks that we want to use. Again, these are by EK Success, but they come with by a whole bunch of different companies make them, and they come in multiple really fun colors. And we're going to choose our stamp and our stamp pad. And we're just going to go ahead and stamp our image. So we've got our fun little image there. And coincidentally, if you care, this is a Stampin' Up! image. Um, not sure what the kit was, but it's from 1996, so I'm sure it's probably retired by now. Um, so you're going to just take several paintbrushes in different sizes. You've got these stiff bristle paintbrushes, or you've got soft bristle paintbrushes. Um, I really like to use the stiff bristle paintbrushes because they tend to um, hold the chalk a little better um, when you're dry chalking. Wet chalking, they give you kind of a stippled look. So I'm going to just go ahead and choose a color here. And notice my chalks are getting wet. That's okay. Um, the chalk will dry out. That's the fun thing about chalk is it'll dry out and it won't be a problem. So, and it doesn't ruin your chalks to get them wet, and you can use them again in dry chalking later. So I've loaded up my brush with my chalk, and it's wet. And I'm just going to go here and um, paint the section that I want blue here. <clears throat> And you notice you get this really fun, like, watercolored look. So, that's that's the way you do wet chalks. And really, that's all it is. It's just like painting, like, when you were a kid with the watercolors, only they're chalks. And when they dry, they kind of have a muted, a muted look to them. That's just really... I'm going to use the word again. It's just really fun. So, there you go. Just a cute little watercolored... Uh, image with wet chalk. The other fun thing about wet chalk is to notice I have this really dark colored paper here. This is black. And what you can do with wet chalk is you can use your chalks. Go ahead and pick up your chalk color that you want. <clears throat> and when you spread it onto the black paper, when it dries, you see you've got your, it, it shows up on the black paper. So you have a little bit of a, um, a light color on a dark background, and these will show up. So you can even stamp, say, on your black paper with some, maybe with a Versamark so you can see the outside line, and then hand paint in uh, with your with your chalks and it looks like you've got a nice cool little hand painted watercolor images on your dark paper. So that's all there is for today. Um, stamping with, oh, there we go, stamping with wet chalk. Have fun!